Welcome back to Historical Highway, where we traverse the captivating lanes of history. Today, we embark on a journey through the ancient seas, guided by the enigmatic figure of Oceanus, the primordial god of the ocean in Greek mythology. Oceanus, often overshadowed by his more famous descendants like Poseidon, holds a significant place in the mythological tapestry of ancient Greece. Imagine standing on the shores of ancient Greece, the waves crashing at your feet as the sun sets over the horizon. The Greeks believed that these vast waters were ruled by Oceanus, a deity who existed before the Olympian gods. Unlike Poseidon, who controlled the Mediterranean Sea, Oceanus was seen as the divine personification of the world-encircling river, which the ancients believed flowed around the entire world. This immense body of water was thought to be the source of all rivers, seas, and lakes. Oceanus was one of the Titans, the elder gods who preceded the Olympians. He was the son of Uranus, the sky, and Gaia, the earth, making him a figure of great antiquity and power. According to Hesiod's Theogony, Oceanus married his sister Tethys, and together they produced the Oceanids, a multitude of river gods and sea nymphs. This union symbolized the eternal and inseparable connection between the sea and the land. The depiction of Oceanus in ancient art and literature varies, but he is often shown as a serene and wise old man with a long beard, symbolizing the timeless and all-encompassing nature of the ocean. He is frequently accompanied by marine creatures such as dolphins and sea serpents, emphasizing his dominion over all aquatic life. Oceanus's role in Greek mythology is multifaceted. He is not just the personification of the ocean, but also a boundary marker, separating the known world from the unknown. The ancient Greeks believed that beyond Oceanus lay mysterious lands and creatures, a notion that sparked the imagination of explorers and poets alike. This concept of Oceanus as a boundary is reflected in the myth of Heracles, Hercules, who had to cross Oceanus to reach the Garden of the Hesperides during one of his twelve labors. In the grand cosmology of Greek mythology, Oceanus represents the uncharted and infinite aspects of the world. His waters are both nurturing and treacherous, embodying the dual nature of the sea as a source of life and a formidable force. Sailors and fishermen would invoke Oceanus's favor for safe voyages, acknowledging his immense power and influence. Oceanus's legacy extends beyond Greek mythology into various aspects of ancient Greek culture and art. His image can be found on numerous ancient coins, pottery and mosaics, underscoring his importance in the everyday lives of the Greeks. Temples and altars dedicated to Oceanus were also not uncommon, highlighting his revered status among the ancient gods. Interestingly, Oceanus's influence is not confined to Greek mythology alone. He appears in Roman mythology under the same name, reflecting the cultural exchange and syncretism between the Greek and Roman worlds. The Romans, like the Greeks, saw Oceanus as the divine embodiment of the ocean's vastness and mystery. Moreover, Oceanus's symbolism has permeated modern culture as well. His name has been used in various contexts, from scientific terminology to literature and art, continuing to evoke the awe-inspiring and enigmatic nature of the ocean. For instance, the term oceanography, the study of the ocean, is derived from his name, highlighting the enduring legacy of this ancient deity. As we delve deeper into the myth of Oceanus, we encounter intriguing stories and legends that further illuminate his character and significance. One such tale involves the Titanomachy, the epic battle between the Titans and the Olympians. Unlike many of his fellow Titans, Oceanus chose not to participate in the conflict, remaining neutral. This decision may reflect his role as a stabilizing and encompassing force, distinct from the chaotic and often violent nature of the other gods. Another fascinating aspect of Oceanus's mythos is his association with the concept of the cosmic ocean. In various ancient cultures, the idea of a primordial ocean surrounding the world is a common theme. For the Greeks, Oceanus embodied this concept, representing the boundless and ever-present waters that cradle the earth. This cosmic ocean is not just a physical entity, but also a metaphor for the unknown and the infinite, themes that resonate deeply with human experience. Oceanus's children, the Oceanids, also play a significant role in Greek mythology. These river gods and sea nymphs are depicted as benevolent and nurturing figures, often associated with specific bodies of water. Each Oceanid had their own domain, 
from mighty rivers like the Nile and the Danube to smaller streams and springs. This proliferation of offspring symbolizes the interconnectedness of all water sources and the vital role they play in sustaining life. In addition to the Oceanids, Oceanus and Tethys are said to have produced several notable deities, including Styx, the goddess of the river that bears her name. The river Styx held a special place in Greek mythology as the boundary between the world of the living and the underworld. It was believed that souls had to cross this river to reach Hades, the realm of the dead. Styx's importance underscores the profound influence of Oceanus's lineage in the broader mythological landscape. Oceanus's significance is further highlighted by his involvement in various myths and stories. For example, he played a role in the myth of Persephone's abduction by Hades. According to some versions of the story, Oceanus's waters were the boundary that Demeter, Persephone's mother, crossed in her desperate search for her daughter. This journey across Oceanus's domain symbolizes the vast and often insurmountable distances between loved ones in mythological narratives. The symbolism of Oceanus as a boundary and a source of life is also evident in the myth of the Argonauts. Jason and his crew had to navigate the treacherous waters of Oceanus to retrieve the Golden Fleece. This epic journey reflects the challenges and dangers associated with exploring the unknown, a theme central to many ancient myths. Oceanus's enduring legacy can also be seen in the artistic representations of the god. From ancient frescoes to modern depictions, Oceanus is often portrayed with flowing hair and a majestic presence, surrounded by waves and marine life. These images capture the awe-inspiring and powerful nature of the ocean, a force that has fascinated humanity for millennia. The influence of Oceanus extends into modern times, where his name and symbolism continue to inspire various aspects of culture and science. The term ocean itself is derived from Oceanus, underscoring the lasting impact of this ancient deity on our understanding of the seas. In literature and art, Oceanus remains a powerful symbol of the vast and mysterious nature of the ocean, evoking a sense of wonder and exploration. In conclusion, the story of Oceanus, the ancient Greek god of the ocean, is a rich tapestry of myth, symbolism, and cultural significance. As the primordial deity of the seas, Oceanus represents the boundless and mysterious nature of the ocean, a force both nurturing and formidable. His legacy, woven into the fabric of Greek mythology and culture, continues to inspire and captivate us. Here at Historical Highway, we are dedicated to bringing you the fascinating stories of the past. If you enjoyed this journey through the myths of ancient Greece, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating historical insights. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring the highways of history.